Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you a workaround for an issue related to easy anti cheat and AMD drivers. I will also talk about error 41013, a timeout connection problem that uh, CIG is currently working to fix. So if you have already uninstalled your AMD driver and installed a previous version like 25.9.1 or 25.9.2, but you are still having the same issues after today's hotfix as shown on screen, then you need to completely uninstall again using the DDU tool and install version 25.8.1. First, head to the AMD webpage, select your graphics card model, choose previous version and download version 25.8.1. Second, boot into safe mode and uninstall your driver using DDU. Then restart into normal mode and install the version you downloaded, that's it. Finally, you can run the game again until they fully fix the issue. Since the new patch was deployed, we have been seeing two major errors, especially 41013, which affects logging queues. CIG said, we are currently looking into and testing multiple hotfixes for client DGS. Top issue right now being looked into is for 41013 errors in logging queue which we are hoping to fix as soon as possible. We are also internally testing a hotfix build with fixes for Polaris and Perseus audio stutter locking. Further client performance optimization at Nix Levesky. Fixes for code and laptop not responding for Vandal tech smugglers and multiple DGS crash fixes. Once build passes internal testing, our goal is to add this to the hotfix channel later today and canary servers with the update. Okay, now let me say something. As we all know, we have PTU test servers so players can test new content and check how the servers behave. And it's not just one way. There are multiple waves of testing. So I honestly cannot imagine how all these tests happened and these issues never showed up. I mean, I need to make content and now because of AMD driver problems, half of the players are stuck waiting for a hotfix that actually made things worse and why it's only AMD users affected. I don't know. Server testing should focus more on server side issues, not only gameplay bugs. In this patch, players were busy dealing with Perseus issues and ship audio bugs and on top of that CIG did not mention anything about the easy anti-cheat problem. Second, for video creators like me, I also want to say something to CIG. How are people supposed to make showcases of ships when even the official website does not show them yet? These ships are part of the IAE surprises and still some creators got access early. CIG needs to put limits on showing exclusive content before its official release. It's not fair for other YouTubers who don't have early access. Uh, for example, I saw all these ships two days before I even started. Honestly, it feels bad and it makes the whole experience frustrating for both creators and players. I know it's not easy for them, especially with so many issues that came with this patch. And I want to thank all the developers for their hard work in making this game reach its full potential. I just hope that in the future patches they focus more on server technical issues, especially graphics, since Genesis is coming soon to the game. I'm Zulfo from Citizen Lab. Let me know what you think about these issues and how CIG could avoid problems like this in the future. Leave a comment and see you in the verse. Thank <laughs> you.